All right, y'all, it is time to take off your makeup, put on your PJs, because we are going to Walmart. <laughs> what is up this is Oxana with craft and more design and in today's video i'm going to show you guys some really amazing sublimation blanks that you can find at your local walmart so don't be afraid to check out these retail stores just a little fun fact now everything i'm going to show you is online i actually went to my local walmart here in georgia but if there's ever anything that you are looking for and you can't find it in the store don't be afraid to search online they actually have like actual real sublimation blanks <laughs> i think i said actual like 30 times but they really do have sublimation blanks on walmart Walmart online so don't be afraid to search that and it's even free shipping to your house or to your local store so those are all really really great options just a little fun side note now when you go to your local Walmart the first thing you obviously want to do is search out the clothing items now you are wanting to look for polyester items that's typically what sublimates the best they say the more polyester the more vibrant the image but I found success even with the 45% it is a little faded and muted so I wouldn't necessarily say that's a good item to sell but it's definitely a good item if you just need something in a pinch. So look for those clothing tags, especially shirts, tank tops, sweatpants, pajamas, t-shirts, all those fun little things. And definitely look for those higher polyester counts. A little side note, if you have something that you really like, but the polyester count is low, don't be afraid to try a sublimation coating spray, which I will link this video right above. It's a tutorial I did on 100% cotton. Typically near the clothing items, you have aisles that carry things like tights, socks, leggings, sports bras, those kind of accessories. And they typically even have 100% polyester tags. And so I would say go to those aisles, especially if you're gonna wanna just throw in something fun or if you want just some test samples, those are usually smaller pieces that are really easy and affordable to buy and work with. And behind that, don't forget to check out your comfy slippers or your slip-ons or those slipper house socks, shoes. I'm not really sure what they're called, but they are really cute to accessorize and to customize. So don't be afraid to check those out. These make really, really great sublimation blanks as well. Moving on, you have the pet section. So I personally love to put bandanas on my dog or to put little sweater vests, especially in the fall and winter months. So don't forget to check out the pet section, especially higher polyester counts, obviously. Now there are also fabrics that will sublimate well, such so as microfiber, even span or suede those are good options so don't be afraid to sample those so outside of the apparel I know we talked about shirts and pet clothes and undergarments and such also don't forget to check out the baby items so there's always those onesies there's sleepers there's toddler and kids items and those make really great easy gifts as well especially for baby showers or just for birthdays those are all pretty obvious sublimation blanks let's get to the more fun ones home decor these are so fun to customize for your home. So check out your bedding, your bed sheets, your pillowcases, even your towels, your shower curtains. Now remember with sublimation, you don't just have to do words or quotes, you can do patterns. So you can do pinstripes and polka dots and fun little florals. I mean, there's so many options that you can do, just whatever you can design, you can transfer. Now in regard to these type of products that I was just talking about, if there's ever a fabric that you don't care for, go by the fabric aisles and find a design or pattern or whatever some sort of poly cotton material and even sew your own so i know that's a little bit more fancy but that's a really great option if you're wanting something that maybe they don't carry at your local walmart but you still want to work with some fabrics and these are good especially if you're making like um chair cushion covers or um, patio furniture those kind of things that makes really fun options for checking out the fabric now with the home decor section, don't forget to check out the kitchen aisles. There are so many cute options here, especially things like oven mitts or hand towels, tea towels, there's a table fabric cloths and so many cute things that you can do in your kitchen to customize it and to give that extra personalized touch. And don't forget, these always make really excellent gifts that everybody always loves. Now with the kitchen section, I always like to say stick with things that are lighter in color or higher in polyester counts. So if you are a beginner, don't forget that there is no such thing as white ink with sublimations. So you really need to stay away from anything that's dark. That's including your blacks, your navies, or those browns 
browns, those kind of colors. So just a little fun tip. And I'll post a video at the very end showing you guys some more tutorials. So stay tuned. All right, moving right along, we have the bathroom section. Now these include your bath towels, your shower curtains. It includes your hand towels. Now, a lot of these towels that are higher in polyester counts or sublimatable material, they are pretty poor quality. So I don't know that I would necessarily encourage you guys to sell it, but it is fun, especially as a project piece or just for your own home. So keep that in mind. A lot of these sublimation blanks, you do have to sacrifice some quality to get that vibrant image. So Walmart may not be necessarily the best option, but these are great, again, to just find those sublimation blanks if you need to. Okay, so now we are gonna head to the sports section. In this aisle, I actually found these football jerseys or these sport jerseys, and they usually come like eight in a pack, and there's red and there's yellow. And these are actually 100% polyester, which I thought was so exciting. And then right next to these, I found these baseball pants or softball pants, and they were also 100% polyester. So now moving on into the sports section, there's all this camp equipment that's typically there. And a lot of that is also sublimatable. So things like your tents or even lunch boxes or backpacks, these are all things that you can find there that you can sublimate, which I thought was just so much fun. <laughs> now moving around near the sports section, typically you'll come across the toy section a few aisles down. And the toy section is kind of interesting because they have stuffed animals that have those large ears that are actually sublimatable. So if you wanna put, let's just say your newborn's weight and height and that kind of thing, or maybe just a custom name, these make excellent gifts. And even there's options to have some custom toy dolls, that are some clothing. All right, and last but not least, there are a couple more things I'm gonna go over, but don't forget the accessories, especially like the hair bows and the hair ties. You can typically customize those, which are really fun, but always make sure that you are checking the back so that you know this is a sublimation blank that you can work with. Now, as I was going through Walmart, I remembered a couple things. So if you head to like the office section, they typically have craft bags or wrapping paper and tissue paper. Those are actually all sublimation blanks as well, which I thought was super, super cool. And also if there's anything that you want to sublimate but you're not able to, you can even buy polyacrylic and you can paint over that, let it dry and sublimate over that, which that's a little bit more advanced. If you would like a video on that, please post a comment below and I will be happy to make one for you. And I think that concludes everything. I know there were a lot of material here, a lot of items that you can sublimate with. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm actually gonna post two videos over here for you. One, a sublimation tutorial and the other tutorial is me using a coating spray if you happen to find something that's higher in cotton count so be sure to check those out in the meantime don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe join the fam and i'll see y'all next time bye